Moi mit kuulu. It is joining. And here we have the skateboard. And all the parts I need to turn it into a to turn it into an electric skateboard. This project has sort of been in the works for at least a year now. <laughs> all the research and the parts and the I've just been buying the parts really slowly and today the final pieces of the puzzle have arrived and I'm gonna try piece it together. When I say final, I mean final in order to get it moving. Not final in that it will be done. But let me show you the, the process. Let's do this. So there was a couple of bits we had to lathe and my dad has a lathe at his work. So here he is sharpening a tool bit for the lathe. We had to lathe down the wheel, uh, put in some inserts into the wheel so that the metal cog pulley thing could have something to sit on. So otherwise it was going to be a bit wonky. We're going around the load. So we slowly just cut off some of these rings off the wheel, rather than shaving it away. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Here I'm just showing you the parts that needed to be stuck into the wheel, and bolts will go through that to stick those two bits together. I started working on drilling the holes while my dad continued on with the lathing of the truck, actually, because the diameter of the truck was slightly too big for the motor mount that we had. This all took a couple of hours. This was late at night after dad's work, so this is finished. We finished up maybe 11 p.m. or something. Okay, so here we are uh, the next day. Nothing more has happened. We have this, we've got that, which is gonna go onto here. This is gonna go here. And obviously the belt is gonna go between them. These are gonna connect up to this, this, which is gonna connect up to this, and then uh, it'll be done. If only it were that easy. <laughs> There are a couple of issues. We have a problem with this and that these aren't wide enough, so this has to go on an angle and then only two screws can fit, which is probably a problem. We also have to grind this down so that we can set these grub screws into this, so that's not just spinning around freely. Also have to drill in some holes into here for the grub screws to bite into here. But my plan is to kind of do all that uh, and screw it all together loosely or well, tightly, but that will be loosely in terms of these because I want to give it a shot, drive it around and see if we need to change anything. All right, so like an hour later, I've done some grinding on these screws to make them fit. Before they were too long, now they just miss. I've also um, put in the set screw, grinded the um, shaft down so that that has something to bite on. Now, none of this is too tight yet. This is all sort of prototyping uh, phases. So things can all be changed if need be. But I actually think, <laughs> and this is super exciting, I think now is the time when I connect this up Check this on and see if we can get this to spin. Obviously, like this isn't on tight, but it's on pretty tight just through friction. And I think I need to start testing the actual spinning.
<laughs> that start though. That, those brakes. Oh. <laughs> Come flying off the board at that point. Now let's hook up the wheel. Okay, my card filled up. I don't know what you missed, but this is the moment of truth. I've hooked all this up. This is now spinning the wheel. And we're gonna actually try to turn it on. All right, here we go. Uh, I feel weird about holding it like that. Not like this. Sorry if my hand's in the way, I have to hold it like that. Okay, well, I feel like that was a success. Everything is put together. Absolutely nothing has Loctite on it, for the screws and stuff, when absolutely everything should have Loctite on it. But, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go take it for a test run anyway, because I wanna see if everything's working properly before we set everything in. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. I have to program the, the controller so that it doesn't kill me as I step onto it and flick the trigger. Okay, moment of truth. No! <laughs> uh, okay, so I have to reverse the motor wires, no big deal. Okay, second moment of truth. Here we go. That does not sound good. All right, I think I know what's happening. Okay, after some screwing, removing, replacing, grinding, I think I have solved the problem. I hope I have solved the problem. Third moment of truth. Okay. I don't I don't know what that means. I wonder if that's just the noise it makes. Maybe that's just what it does. Because it's moving. Okay, I am, look. Let's take this outside and see. If I can't get it to go fast, then I'll know something's wrong. All right, well, I mean, I can only get so much speed on this one straight. I'm thinking it just sounds bad because it's having to push all my weight right from the start. If I give it a push and start. I think that's just the sound of the motor. Get fast, that is nowhere near full speed. Oh gosh! <laughs> I realized I never really finished this video, so I'm gonna take the skateboard out now. I'm gonna take it for a little bit of a ride, and I'll show you what it's like. So, 
it's pretty good. It uh, it's a bit janky. It's sort of all taped together, and there's various things that need to add, fix, improve. But it's working. I don't need a kick, and it is a lot of fun. <laughs> So as for speed and distance, I actually couldn't tell you. What I can tell you is that it goes fast, faster than it ever needs to go. So I have it permanently limited at 60% uh, throttle and I haven't had it long enough to know the distance. So far it hasn't died on me, so there's that. I've got the, uh, I've got the camera on the tripod, I've got the electric skateboard that's two of three parts that I need to be Casey Neistat. All I need is a drone. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs>